This crowd, as we've come to expect in recent years, as loud as any in the NFL, and they get even louder when their Seahawks are introduced. We're ready for football as the Seahawks get set to do battle with the Dallas Cowboys. Here's Kai Forbath now to get us started. And off we go from Seattle. This is taken at the three. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. The Seahawks take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. Now Wilson on first down. He's got a man complete. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. DK Metcalf, 74 yards. As his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Jason Myers now for the extra point. And this will give the Seahawks a 7 to nothing lead. Touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 22. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and these creases like they were able to exploit right there. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. Run for Pollard, and he'll get two, maybe three, up near the 37. On second and seven, Prescott. Blitz coming and down he goes. Unable to stop K.J. right there as he slips by for the sack. And we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight-ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack? It's third and long. Looking to throw. Prescott. And the pressure gets to him again. Michael Kendricks coming in to drop him. And now the Seahawks are going to take a timeout here on defense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. So on fourth down, here's Chris Jones to punt it away. Back deep, the dangerous Tyler Lockett.
That's a 49-yard punt, eight though on the return. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drives exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was real easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. And we'll see if it's that easy here. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Now it's Penny. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Four yards the pickup, first down. But well, we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. What? Green 80. Gotta go, in and out, let's go. Give me that ball! Penny, the first down carry. It's a seven yard carry to set them up with a second and three. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. This is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Only a yard on the pickup. So from a good situation on second and two, it's now third and one. Right there, right there. 54 Mike. Hey, pick it up, defense. Let's go. Hello, 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 hello. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. This is third and one, very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. This is Penny. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. And that gain of nine buys them a new set of downs. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. On the run, it's Penny. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. They'll find Metcalf. 
four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Now play number seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. From the shotgun, Wilson, it's caught, lock it. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 13-yard line. I think everyone in the stadium saw that big hit coming. And I, as a former defensive back, have to admit I'm a little disappointed. He actually was able to hold on to the ball. He brought the lumber on that play. Give my man a whole lot of credit for taking the hit and possessing the football. And picking up the first down. They go back to the ground now with Penny. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. A 13-yard touchdown run. And the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. Solid job up front. Really just a solid job all the way around to get that one in. Yeah, that was well executed, wasn't it? Well blocked, well run. End result, six points. Touchdown. Now Myers for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. This fielded at the two. But he breaks through another tackle. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It's certainly. In a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Brad McDougal. Thank you. 